Well, that's just freaking amazing. That is just literally freaking amazing. Say goodbye to your little board. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I know I did. What up, brothers and sisters? And welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having a blessed Monday. I don't know what is wrong with me. It's Monday, I woke up, and I was in a darn good mood. And that is just bananas. I had to go to the doctors, they stole some blood. Like every single week now. And uh, yeah, but it's alright. I was just a little doozy, I ate something, and now I'm feeling way better. I ate a little much. That is why I'm, I'm a little in like, oh, food coma, you know? But it's alright. We're not playing coma though today. I'm, there, there was no foreshadowing. Also, there was no live stream today. Get used to it. There will no will be no live streams on Sundays and on Mondays. So that I have one day of weekend and a day in a week to do stuff like I don't know, go to doctors and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, but the rest of the week there will be live streams. But special edition for a live stream. If you haven't heard already, Saturday and Sunday I will be participating in the German Content Creator Charity Cup. That uh, is organized by Ultimate Guard, and a lot of amazing people are going to be there. Yours truly included. We are ready, and that is banana. So thank you also very freaking much. Collected over 1,200 euros, which is around 1,250 dollars, and whatever else in your currency it is, it's a lot of freaking money. It is way more than all the other content creators together put together as nine people so thank you also very freaking much and if you want to help me in my fight against freaking cancer you can it's not my cancer thank god i'm blessed and uh you can just check down the link below easy peasy help us out there i put in all the money i got from patrons from the last two months so just so you know there's big things going on already from me and uh talking about big and patriots there's a new Zed with a great heart that I want to welcome to our ranks. Sebastian Straminski, thank you very freaking much for becoming a Zed I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you will enjoy your patron party with all of us. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the freaking Esper hammering. This is Sparta, or however the American Dad thing was. So, this deck is amazing. I'm here from after the video. I, I recorded the gameplay before, as I usually do, so if I change something, you know, I don't have to redo all the deck tech and everything. But in the end, I changed nothing, nothing, I tell you. This deck is absolutely bananas. Absolutely freaking lutely bananas. It is so fun. It is so super amazingly good. Just whatever you wanted to call it, it is all of that. It is all of that. So, the main card, like, you see this, you say, hey, it's an Asper Controllist, but I promise you, we win every game with freaking beatdown. With freaking beatdown. We, uh, we started off at the top 700, now we're somewhere in the top 400. That is just super amazing. We have the Refine in here. And oh my lord, Refine is so fine in this deck. Whenever you attack, target attacking creature connives X, where X is the number of attacking creatures. It has Ward 1, it has Flying, so that means that if you discard a non-land card after you have drawn, you get plus 1 for each non-land card discarded that way. And that is just super freaking nice. So, that is uh, one of the new cards. Another new card is the Obscura Charm. It's non common, so you can craft those, don't you worry about it. I know this is a Mythic Rare, but this isn't. It's non common, so... Hold your horses. You return a target multicolored permanent with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Or you counter an instant or sorcery, or you destroy target creature planeswalker mana value 3 or less. So you get all the good things. In my eyes, this key to the city is the best kind of charm. This, for me, is the one with the most value. Because, end of turn, you can return a refine, but you can also return a kaito. It's a 3 cost. Permanent. Multicolored. That is just amazing. So if they destroy the Kaito, you can just freaking bring him back to the battlefield. And that is just... Chef's kiss, delicious. Another new card we have is Void Rand. It's just super good. It can't be countered. So if they have Ward on that creature, it can't be countered. You know, because Ward, if you read it here, says... It becomes target of a spell or ability component, opponent controls. Counter it. So, if the exact same word is needed, uh, used... 
That means that it's the exact same word, and here we are. Void rant cannot be countered by word abilities. It should be called word rant. Very freaking nice. Another new card that we have in here is the Elspeth Resplendent. This card has, it's only a one-off because it's not like super needed, but it is very, very good still in the deck, you know, because it can search for a Kaito, it can search for a Fine, it can search for a Strict Procta. And that is super good. Give it a shield counter, a Kaito with a shield counter. Now he doesn't only phase out, he also gets down with the shield. That is just super freaking good. Trust me. And uh, in the late game, you know, if you have your refine out, you just give the refine like vigilance. So a freaking uh, wandering empress can't even touch it. Or you give it freaking fly uh, first strike, you give it a freaking lifelink. So it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you give it lifelink. Where is it? Lifelink? You're happy, my friends. Happy like a clown. Freaking Charlie Brown. And if you ever get to the luxurious situation of putting five freaking angels on the battlefield, well, that is just amazing for you. But it ain't easy. It ain't a freaking easy. So, yeah, maybe you will, maybe you won't. There's a chance, but not the biggest. So, other creatures that we have in here are the spiders from the loaf, the samurai from the freaking uh, wandering empress, and the strict proctor. Why is the Strict Proctor in here? There's a lot of reasons why the Strict Proctor is in here. First of all, Angel decks. I thought it would, like, you know, uh, counteractivate the, um, the, um, the Giada trigger, but that doesn't happen. It's not an enter the battlefield effect. It is simply a if you cast it, it happens effect. So, yeah, that is number one. Number two is freaking mono white decks. Because with this Strict Proctor on the field, First off, you can block a freaking uh, what's her name, you know, the one that uh, makes your spells cost one more with first strike? Yeah, that one. I know I should know the names of the cards, but I don't. Sue me, call my strict proctor, let her know that I'm doing wrong. So you can block that with that. And you know, it's just a nice little blocker in the air for the early game. It prevents them from using Brutal Cathars. It prevents them from using the Palo Damo Vito de la Rosa card. It is just super good. You know, they have to pay two for stuff. Just amazing. Also, super good against freaking enchantment decks. Now they have to pay freaking two mana every time they want to draw a card with something. Hey, get out of here, enchantment decks. Just get out of here. Ain't gonna freaking happen. I know it's like a Nombo with the Meat Masker, but hear me out. You just block with it and then use the Meat Masker. So it buys you time until you have enough mana for the big old creatures. Meat Masker them the freaking heck out of here. The rest of the deck, plain, good old card draw and control. With the March of the Otherworldly Light, worst case we can get rid of the Rede of the Elspet or like a Doomscar or the Emiria's Call to make it bigger. We'd have the Vanishing Verse, only two because there's still a lot of monocolored tanks. We'd have the Void Rand instead of the Vanishing Verse, so that is also alright. Obscure Charm, already said. Behold the Multiverse, just nice. Usually on turn two we don't have to do something and if we have Behold the Multiverse, that is just amazing. Wandering Empress, just... <laughs> Get out of here! If you're playing mono white and you don't, uh, if you're playing white and you don't play the one ray empress, what are you even doing? We have the love, just card draw creatures that get bigger and bigger with the refine also. So we put counters on them with this, we put counters on them with this, we make the creatures, we put counters on. It's just amazing. The Doom Scar, hey, we're still a control deck, you know. Push the button and a farewell. We're still a control deck. Push the freaking button, my friends. What Emiria's calling here because it is just a very good card. If you need a land, you have a land. In the late game, this is two angels for seven mana. So, hey, ain't that bad. We have one a Ganjo, security measures, two Hall of the Storm Giants, because we are still kind of a control deck. Hive of the Eye Tyrant, the Takanuma can bring everything back that we like. Landwise, then we have four Refines Tower and two of everything freaking else. And one basic. If they destroy land, at least we have a basic. So, long explanation, even longer matches. This deck is super freaking fun. And I freaking love it. And if you want to play something that is very, very good against the meta right now, I promise you, it is this deck. Just be smart about it. Not like me in game four. I made some mistakes. Spoiler warning. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in the Spartanic Games. Oh my lord, Asper freaking control. Let's go, baby. I didn't play since yesterday's video, so my rank is still more or less the shame. And yeah, 
I really love this hand. I really love it. Really much so. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I will keep it. I do the refine to draw, you know, all of the shibuang. We do have the strict proctor to, like, make sure that they aren't annoying, you know? All of that. I really, really like it. So, no matter what to do in here, we do have something. All right, the gear. All right. Yeah, right away. Right away with the angels. Well, it doesn't really matter too much. I play a black source here, of course. And uh, we'll be bringing down the uh, refine. Because the thing is that they still have to pay for it. So, yeah. Good luck with that. Good freaking luck with that. Well, I mean... Sag. 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 I wish we would have drawn something other than a land, but we haven't. So, eh. So, eh. Things are going to be what they're going to be. It's just what it is. Ain't nothing but a heartbeat. Alright, what you got here, my friend? The Righteous Valkyrie, eh? Well, ain't that amazing? Ain't that freaking amazing? So, we do have the Refined Tower here. To be honest, I really want to get rid of this right away. Because there's literally no reason not to. I will be attacking in before I decide what I want to do. And, of course, I'm making this one bigger here. And we're getting rid of... Holy smokes, yeah, okay. Well, the lands can go. The lands can freaking go. Alright, I mean, hey, hey. They paid the mana for the land, you know, that is already very good. And if they ever, like, I don't know, do something here, we're fine. We're freaking fine. So, this doesn't trigger this. That is crazy to me. That is actually freaking crazy to me. So, Midok Massacre also not that good here. But we are still attacking in. And uh, let us just see what will happen here. Alright, we can get rid of the Refine. And we can get rid of uh, the Meat Hook Massacre here. Because we have all the control in the world. So it's all fine, you know. It's all refined. And we will see how they're blocking here. Maybe they think that they're smart. They're not blocking at all. But it ain't smart at all. So they will be attacking and I will be playing the Wandering Empress and Shabwam. Exile the Righteous freaking Valkyrie. Alright, I mean, you have to pay two for that. I don't know if you know about that, but, uh, you know? Oh, that's not entering the battlefield. Okay, well, I get it. I totally freaking get it. Alright, they're only attacking in with this. That is fine. I will freaking destroy it. Die, Giada. Die. Alright, that is late. That is too late. You, you ain't getting nothing out of this. Ain't freaking getting nothing out of this. And the youthful freaking Valkyrie. Well, that's amazing. That is just plain amazing. Alright, so this time we will be putting it on the strict Procta. I mean, we're looking at a lot of things here, so that is very freaking nice. And we're getting rid of this here. And we will see what they're doing. I mean, maybe they're blocking here wrong, you know, and then I will just, you know, slam them down. Alright, they're doing it like this. That is really good. Really, really freaking good. Get out of here, stupid thing. Whatever, you know, thing. Just get out of here. All right. So, we do have the Wandering Empress. We do have the Loth. We do have a lot of thanks here. And uh, they get the Giada tapped. That is very nice. Like, I think that we still have a chance to make a freaking comeback here. Well, comeback. We were in control from the start. And yes, I've just eaten a lot of food and I look a little tired maybe. But that's just the deal, you know. So are you paying the two? Are you are you paying the two? Are you paying the two? You're not. Okay. The Furious Retribution. All right. Interesting. Pretty freaking interesting. They are attacking in the Mad Lad. The freaking Mad Lad. Okay. But so are freaking we. And we were putting it here. We're getting rid of uh, this and this. Not needed. Alrighty. The refine gets pushed here. Okay. What am I doing about that?
I wish I would have drawn a land here. Because I could have traded and played a farewell, but I haven't. But I haven't. So yeah, let him pay for it. Let him freaking pay for it. Like, uh, they will be attacking my Wandering Empress here, one bajillion percent. And if we draw a land, we shall have to farewell. So hey, all the lands I threw away at the beginning, now I'm eating up my words, you know. Now I wish I still had him. I wish I still had him. But I don't. I don't have him. Once more, as long as we find a land here, all is bueno. Well, that ain't bueno at all, my friends. That ain't bueno at freaking all. Alright, I think that they will be getting rid of my uh, strict proctor here, because that is the one that annoys them the most, you know. And, uh, yeah. I don't know why they're keeping back the youthful Valkyrie here, though. I really, really don't know. But we will find out all together, won't we? Yes, we will. So, as long as we find a land here, you know, we're kind of good. We're kind of good. We'll have to see. Maybe I screwed this up a little bit by attacking in. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked in. I was too cheeky. Well, you know, sometimes you cheek and sometimes you just don't. We are attacking in here. Doesn't really matter too much. All right, they're getting rid of this. That is fine. We are getting rid of uh, all creatures, all artifacts, all enchantments, and all graveyards. So, we have a Kaito now. I don't know what they have. But as we find a land... Okay, well, they have everything still. That ain't bueno. That ain't bueno at all. All right, we have found a land here. Never freaking punished, you know. Never freaking punished. They have to block it here. And we're just slamming it. I mean, hey, it's a good old Hall of the Storm Giants beatdown, you know. Good old Hall of the freaking Storm Giants beatdown. And this group, get out of here, freaking angels. Get out of here. Mmm. So we brought the aspiration to our opponent. <laughs> yes, yes. That was pretty amazing. We're up against Susie Kiss. Susie kiss me, baby. Susie kiss me, baby. This hand is terrible. Good old terrible. We cannot keep it. This is way freaking better. I will be throwing away the loaf, sadly. Sadly, that is what's going to happen. But we do have the strict proctor in, and we do have the doom scar. We're up against mono black control, I guess. All right, we now even have the refine. That is just super amazing. Super amazing. All right, it's mono black control. All right, that is good. That is really good. I will still be bringing down the uh, strict proctor here, you know, just slamming it down there. What are we up against? What is this shenaniganery? Well, Darren Bloodcast, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? But the question is, do I even like play the refine here if I want a doom scar later? You know, I mean, yeah, it's good old card selection. But we will have to see. We're just flunking it. Well, that was... Nice. <laughs> that was nice, my friend. You did well. You did well. You did well. Well, in this case, I will be playing the refine. Doesn't look like they do have anything, you know. And then in that case, it's just very, very good. Can get rid of the straight proctor here. All right, we don't need too many of those. And now we are in good old freaking a control. Yes, yes. Shoot a kiss. Shoot a kiss you goodbye is what I'm doing. Shoot a kiss you goodbye. I'm terribly sorry. My jokes aren't the best today. But they're not here for your entertainment, you know? Oh, my phone is still on vibration. That ain't bueno. That is making a lot of noise. Okay, good, good. So, they're drawing some cards. Doesn't matter too much. We are as well. I mean, we have to discard them, but it's still totally freaking worth it. Totally freaking worth it. The shakedown heavy. Alrighty. Well, you know, my wandering empress would like to have a word with you. Well, or you know, my, uh, my freaking, uh, what's his name? Vanishing Verse would also like to talk to you, my friend. So, we are getting rid of the Behold the Multiverse, or maybe even the Doomscar, as it's not too appealing right now. And, uh,. Hmm. You know what? It's the Behold the Multiverse. We will draw with the Kaito. We will just freaking draw with the Kaito. So what you doing here, my friend? Who is being aggressive now? Who is? Yeah, it's right. It's me. So we could play the Kaito here, but we could also just, you know, put down a Wandering Empress. 
XL to shake down heavy before they even have a chance to draw a card here. Yeah, pay two to get alive. How about that? How about them potatoes? Exactly, no potatoes for you. Hey, we're as per aggro control. I mean, what the heck is this even? We're, what is this world we're living in? Resolve, decline, laying down a wandering empress. Mm, mm, mm. Who's shaking down who now, my friend? Who is shaking down who? All right, and we're gaining some life. I mean, that is just a perfect freaking trade here. What are, what are they even supposed to do here? Play a play a uh, a thing? Play the thing? Or maybe maybe they do play the thing. I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they have it. Just the shadows. But now, what's the name? I forget. The invoke despair. There it is. There it is. So we're sacrificing uh, the strict proctor, of course. I was just waiting for you, my friend. I was just freaking. Oh my, that is. Amazing to say the least. Amazing to say the freaking least. And we can get rid of this land. We do have all the lands we need right now. And uh, we're bringing down this land. We're bringing down the strict proctor keeping up a vanishing verse. And uh, yeah. That seems about right, you know. Just seems about right. Are you getting rid of my strict proctor here? So now even the mere dog massacre from them is just dirty, you know. Just dirty. That they really had to invoke despair here. Okay. Only called Anvil it is. And the Dark Side Chef. Okay. Interesting. Pretty freaking interesting. Are you sacking yourself? Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Totally makes sense. We're still getting rid of this right away. Just because we can. Just because we can, before they draw land and use it here, you know, that ain't doing it for me. Alright, draw your card. Draw your card, my friend. So we're a little low on cards, but it doesn't really matter too much, because we do have the Excura Charm here. Do I want to use it, though? Well, you know, whatever we get here, we can just decide on later on. And, uh, yeah, we're still being super freaking aggressive. So... I think this is the choice. The March of the Otherworldly Light can take care of this, so that's very freaking nice. Alrighty. All freaking righty. And Kaido comes in now, draws us a card, and now we are back in freaking control. So if they cannot wipe the board here, I should have kept the counter spell, to be honest, but I couldn't have played the Kaito anyways. So we're keeping this land for now. We do have five, so even if we get on six next turn, that is more than alright. And if they cannot wipe our freaking board here, hey, we're good, you know. We can also attack him with the Hive the Tower next turn. So I feel like we're alright, you know. I feel like we... Okay, that is questionable to say the least. Questionable to say the least. But maybe it was worth it, who knows. Who freaking knows. They're down to two life here. They're going back to three with this. But then that's it. Then that's it. What are they supposed to do even here? We just got him real freaking good here, my friends. Real freaking good. The Obnixil is. Hey, that will give him some life. But it still won't be enough, you know. Still won't be enough. All righty. All freaking righty. So. Trading the devil. We're going to four. Resolve. A decline. Pleasure doing do I have enough here? I do not have enough. Fast attacks? Are they even attacking? Yeah, that was just your doom, my friend. That was just your doom. Your doom. Alright. So, we're doing this now. We're slamming the door. Getting in there with the Hive the Eye Tyrant and then boom! We win the game. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Even if they, like, sacrifice this here now, it won't be enough, you know? Just good old beat down with Asper control, you know? <laughs> Just good old freaking beat down with Asper freaking control. Keeping the land for dominance reasons? Yeah, that's how we do it here. That's how we do here. I don't care if it hurts. I'm doing the Asper beat down. Oh, I would have never thought that this deck would be more like a beat down deck. Then a freaking control deck. But in the end, it doesn't even matter, you know? It just, it just 
best what it does best, beating the opponent. Mm -mm -mm. Get out of here, mono black with a little spice. Get out of here. So yesterday I started building my Jatmir commander deck and oh my doctor baby Jesus. Oh, and oh my lord, it's going to be great. It's going to be freaking great. We're going first. What is this, Krimus? So finally we're more on a controlly side of things here. And we will be taking that side. So good. So good. Alright. Well, there's a Meadow Masker. I mean, hey, some people might say, do you know the Meadow Masker maybe doesn't work too well with the Strict Proctor, but the Strict Proctor is here to block first and foremost. And then for the rest, we will see how this turns out, you know? Alright. Sadly, we haven't found a land here. I will keep on up my Oxcura Charm. I will be blocking, you know. I can still do things. It's alright. It's way more than alright. The Bart class. Bird class. Alrighty. A new wing. But we will see. We will see what they still have. Alright, they... They're going strong. They're going strong. Alright, give me a land here. No land has been found. No land has been found. That is bad. That is real bad. We started with three. We ain't finding another one. They're going ham here. Like you know. Good old Parma cheese. Yeah, Parma Jern is what I want to say. And Parma Jern still is not even like, you know, Parma cheese. Okay, so now they have Vigilance and can tap for a mana. Ain't that amazing? The answer is no. No, it ain't. No, it ain't not freaking amazing. I really hope we just find a land here. And then just destroy their whole freaking life. That would be great. So we're taking a little damage here. Yeah. We just have to hope for a land. If we cannot find a land, hey. Hey. You know, nothing much we can do about it. Nothing much we can do about it. So please, White Source. Come on. Give me a land here. Give me a freaking land here. I have a bajillion of them in the deck. I mean, you know, sooner or later you need to lose a game. And if the reason is because you didn't find a land... Well, that's just freaking amazing. That is just literally freaking amazing. Say goodbye to your little board. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I know I did. All right. So, we're back in control. All we needed, you know, was a little land. All we needed a little land. Getting on the field. So now we do have the Meadow Massacre even, but it doesn't help us too much here. And they really need to find something. If they cannot find anything, well, it's just... Okay, come on, game. No lands for us today. Just no lands. It's okay. It's still okay. We're, we're still winning. We're still freaking winning. Another Bard class. All right. Yeah, must be good. Must be good. So, they know about a Wandering Empress here. Are they attacking? They are. Okay, you're just being Peach Dory here, aren't you? You're just being freaking Peach Dory here, aren't you? So, we're getting rid of the Bergy. Because, you know... It's just infinite freaking value for them. And we can still go with the Meadow Massacre here, so that is alright, you know. I mean, if we find anything else, we'll be going with the Loaf, of course. But if we don't, well, then just, you know, no land for us, is what they say. No land for us. I mean, it could still pop off like there's no tomorrow, don't get me wrong. Don't you get me wrong. So there was no land for us. That is super questionable, to say the least. Just super freaking questionable, to say the least. But uh, what we can do is to just uh, foretell this here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's. Worst case, we can, like, do stuff. But, uh... We only found a land here. That is amazing. That is freaking amazing. So before attacks, I'm paying two here, getting rid of my second Wandering Empress. I know, I know. I'm a monster. I know I am a monster. But it's totally worth it. Totally worth the freaking effort. All right, land ahoy. Come on. Come on, land. Daddy needs a land. No land. All right, we're doing this main phase like maniacs. Good. No lands on top. Only lands on top. Well, that's that's a land. I, I'll take that land, you know. And there's another land. Even the perfect freaking land. Okay. Amazing. Freaking amazing. So, we now get down a good old beatdown stick. 
And uh, yeah, if they play anything, we can just destroy it with the Obscure Charm. That is very nice. We do have the Farewell also to get rid of these Bard classes later on. So, hey, oh, you know, we're still going places. We are still freaking going places. If they now just attack with the Dan of the Bugbear, I will use my Obscure Charm. I will. Don't you think I won't? They're going with the Goro Goro here. Okay, that is nice. Are you, are you tapping it down? Are you doing some shenaniganery with the Goro Goro here? You are not. Okay, well in that case, I will just destroy that Goro Goro. Good old Obscure Charm. Hiyash, yash. Hiyash. Good. Yeah, give your creatures more haste. You do that. Give your creatures even more haste. Yeah, that's right. You don't. Freaking don't. All right, we're playing this one. Now we found the land. We will be playing the Loth here. Their creatures don't have haste anymore. You know, that is just amazing. Just freaking amazing. So, I will be putting it here, of course, because it has freaking vigilance. And now, hey! And now, hey! Give me your words. Give me your tired, hurdled masses, my friend. Give them all to me. Yeah, pay. Pay. Oh. Oh, you will not like what I'm doing next. You will not like what I will be doing next. All right, we're putting it uh, here once more because that's the freaking vigilance. And, uh, yeah. Now we're slamming in for eight. Good old Obscura beatdown. That is what it is. No thing to worry about here. And now we're getting rid of all the enchantments. How do you like damn potatoes? I like them a lot. I hope you enjoyed your freaking uh, free meal, my friend, because that's it. The party is over. You can try and get that soup down on a spoon, but uh, that's not how that works, man. Dr. Baby Jesus, I hope you enjoyed your stay. Because this... Is Sparta, my friend. This is freaking Sparta. Okay. So, how am I doing this here? There are so many things I could do. First things first, I'm going to put this down here this time. Now, I'm going to uh, draw a card here. It's a refine. That is just super amazing. Just super freaking amazing. Alright, and we are attacking it with everything. And we're putting it here. Alrighty. The strict proctor, the void rand, what do I don't want? I can't get rid of this, I can't get rid of this. And I can't get rid of the land. So, hey, oh, I mean, hey. You know, this is just amazing. This is just literally freaking amazing, man. Just amazing. And they die to the Meatog Masker now. They just die to the Meatog Masker. How? Well, by me just playing a Meatog Masker, that is how. Oh, and uh, yeah, who needs them spiders anyway? Get your part class out of here, Dr. Baby Jesus. This is a Malone house. This is the church of Malone. No disrespect to Jesus. But hey, this bearded guy right here, that is the one. That is the freaking one ruling this house. Get out of here, doctor. Get out of here. The best part about the Jetmere Commander deck is that it is completely different from anything I've ever built. So is Zia Tora female or male? We're going first. Are we drawing land? I don't think we are. Well, now we're good. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right. Let's play the white so they think we're mono white. <laughs> Pure dominance. All right. So, as we're going first, I can take this hand. Otherwise, I wouldn't be. But you know, it's all right. We're going with the blue here, of course. And the next one, oh, the Elspeth is here. Hello, little lady. Hello. All right, this is perfect. This is freaking perfect. All right, the Refine comes in. Next turn, we have the Kaito. All freaking good. So what you gonna do here? Yeah, Ward, my friend. Ward. It's a Sphinx. It's very warding, you know? So they are also playing the, uh, the card that, you know, does the things. But we will see how this turns out. I think I'm still going with the Kaito here. You know, it's just good, it's just good. And uh, maybe the Elspeth needs to go, I'm not sure yet. I am not freaking sure yet, what you doing here? Are you paying the ward cost? Are you really? Are you really? Well, ain't that amazing. <laughs> what did they get rid of for that? A lot of stuff. Okay, well that's... It's just good, you know? That is just freaking good. So we have the two of white. I'm going with the Kaito here. And uh, yeah, it phases out. So we would see what they're doing. 
We will just see what they're freaking doing. They kept like one mana open for this. That is so crazy. But they paid like three cards for one card. That is total freaking value, you know? Total freaking value. All right, you do that, my friend. You freaking do that. We are digging for a land here. I think the farewell is not that needed. Or is it? Or is it? What did they... I think the farewell is really needed. I think the farewell is needed very, very much even. Very much. But they're kind of out of cards, you know? And uh, now even if they do have the thing, the one thing that I don't like, the, uh, you know, the, um... I always forget the name, the black spell that destroys a planeswalker and a creature and draws him a card. Yeah, there it is. The Invoke Frickin' Despair. Uh, we're keeping the Kaito. So, now uh, we start <laughs> We start the game, but we have all the advantage, they do not. I will be keeping the Refined Tower because I'm at where I need to be, you know, with uh, with everything. I would do it like this. If they have another one Invoke Despair here, hey. Okay, that is one. You paid four mana for one creature. I hope it was worth it. I hope it was, okay. Peach Dory, my friend. Peach freaking Dory. Here they are, best friends forever, you know, stuff like that. So, the beatdown continues. I mean, hey, it was a four mana destroy one creature spell. Why not, you know? Why the freaking heck not? And we're also bringing down the Strict Proctor now. So, if they do have a Meadow Masker, hey, go ahead. End of turn, I will bring back my loaf with the Takanuma. And then very soon, I will be just wiping the freaking board here. Okay, well, that is another four mana destroy one. Oh, no, there's, there, there was more than one this time. There was more than one this time. I respect it. All right. So what are we getting ourselves? Well, of course, the loaf. Just amazing. Just freaking amazing. And we can even afford to make ourselves a little samurai here. Get the loaf on the field. Make yourself some spudish. If they do have a meat hook massacre here, hey, so be it, you know? Nothing I can do about that. Ain't nothing but heartbeat. So now we even got the refine. That is super fine. Super fine. And now we'll be getting rid of the graveyard here. Like, give me give me a break. Give me a freaking... Oh, that is just amazing. That is just freaking amazing. Oh, I love it so much. So what you got here, Willis? What you got here? I have all the answers, my friend. All the answers forever and ever and freaking ever spreading the threat it is very much importante to spread the freaking threat okay so and uh, we will be like as i said spreading the threat i don't think we need doom scar i don't think we need uh, the void rent to be honest and i don't need, think we need this land anymore good okay i mean you know we're a control deck that beats the opponent every single time with creatures that is just plain freaking amazing just plain freaking amazing. We still have 35 cards left. We can still do shenanigans. And that is all right. That is all I care about. I will be keeping the Refines Tower here. Yeah, that, that ain't happening. I don't have... That is just so bad. I don't have the mana for it? Why? What did it tap here? What did it tap? Oh, my lord. I don't have the mana for it. Well, ain't that Peachadori? Ain't that freaking Peach? I thought I had the mana for the Obscure Charm. I messed up here. I was too cheeky. I was too cute. Too cute. All right, but what are they doing here? They can do a lot of stuff. They're getting rid of the Loth here. Oh, my Lord. I messed up so bad. So bad. So bad. All right. So they're gaining three here for that. And then what? I can still bring back something, so it's absolutely still all right, you know? Absolutely still all right. Ah, oh, just, just bad, just bad. And I should feel bad. The Kaido we can bring back, you know, we can bring back. Pass attacks, and we're cycling this to draw. <laughs> oh man, Maloney, you evil genius. You freaking, I only, I didn't have enough for the stuff, you know. I did not have enough for the stuff. So we're foretelling this this time. 
And now we're chilling a little bit. Yeah, we will wait, we will wait. I can uh, either use the Obscura Charm to bring something back. We'll have to see. We'll have to freaking see. Well... Ain't that amazing. We will still be doing this now, you know? Even if they wipe the board, we still have the Loth. And we can still draw cards. The Binding. Okay. Alright. Get rid of my Empress. I don't mind. For now. I will draw cards here. I will get the Loth down. And, uh, yeah. Uh, those are not needed at all. I feel a little sad about how this turned out. I was so certain. And then the Hardness freaking Infinity. Never. Holy Toledos. I wouldn't have never expected that. Never in a bajillion years. Alright, do we have enough? We do have enough. We do have enough. That is all that matters. And nothing else matters. Just having enough. So, if they uh, want to wipe the board here, I will abuse the Obscura Charm. If they're getting rid of my Loth here, that is fine by me. We will see though. One, two, three, four. If they do that, they can still get rid of the Loth if they want to. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Should have gotten rid of it when I had a chance, but I haven't. But I haven't. The Culling Ritual will be coming down here. One bajillion percent. We're going with this. All right. Yeah, that is fine. We'll be using the Culling Ritual here. I mean, they're so certain. They're so certain. Well, that was unexpected, to say the least. That <laughs> was totally unexpected, to say the freaking least. All right, well, hey. Hey, it is what it is, you know. It is what it freaking is. All right. So, I think we're going with the refine here. That is amazing. That ain't. Say goodbye to your graveyard, my friend. Say goodbye to your graveyard. So the game starts now. The game starts now, you know? I was so certain. Oh, that is just the worst card you could have drawn here, my friend. Just the worst freaking card you could have drawn. Holy smokes. That one Harness Infinity. That really changed the game to the better for them. To the freaking better for them. But we will see how much removal they still have. Like, uh, I was so certain, but I was like... That was a prime example of never count your chickens before blah 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 thing, you know? How many more invoke this day after Shigeki here? Get out of here, man! Get far out of here, man! You really have the infinite value going on all day freaking long? Come on, get out of here, man! Get freaking out of here. That, that Harness Infinity ruined my career. I shouldn't have been that cheeky, you know? But I was. I was freaking cheeky. We're drawing three cards, we're losing six life. We lost. We lost. I, I cannot say it differently, you know? I threw this one away. I threw it away. I discarded it like a dirty little diaper. Like a dirty freaking little diaper. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Do they have another Shigeki in hand now? Do they have it? Well, we'll have to find out. If they do, well, that's just amazing for them. If they don't, well, that's just amazing for us. Is it amazing for us? Will it be good? Well, that's just bad. That is just plain freaking bad. So we're one freaking, uh, you know, invoke despair away from dying here. The go blank. Well, I don't care about these two. I really don't. We still have cards, we still have cards, and our chance to find land are only 36%. That is good, you know. <laughs> that is super bad. No, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. We lost the game. We lost the game. It's all right. It's all right. We, we lost the game. They just like these top decks, my friend. These freaking top decks. Unbelievable. Well, I mean, that still makes us survive here for a little bit, so that is all right. I won't let Kamigawa fail my that is all right. I got someone on the inside who can help. That is uh, more than all right. 
Because we survive, you know? And surviving is all we care about. Wait, no! We don't survive! Oh, we got gotten so good! I was... There was one turn where I was too cheeky. One turn where I was too cheeky. Where I didn't count my mana right. That is what lost us the game. Oh, high level freaking magic. Terrible Malone. Terrible. Oh, get out of here. Jesus Malone. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad. All right, we have one more for redemption. I could have won the game if I only, if only I would have gone with the exile target graveyard right away. That would have been the play. Harness Infinity, though. I have to say, that one, get me real good. I like this hand. Like, we will be doing stuff in the early game. The Gold Hound. Interesting. Pre uh, interesting. What are you doing with that, though? What is what is that gold hound do? Attack my face. All right, that is what they do. That is what that gold hound do. Are you just okay? What? What is going on here? What what is happening? What am I freaking looking at? Well, it doesn't really matter. We do have like answers in our hand, and that is all that matters. I'm still freaking utterly confused, man. Huh, what? What is this? Equipped creature has flying. Alright, fly away, my little uh, gold hound friend. Fly away. Maybe they're playing the... Uh, well, they have five mana in turn two. You know, that is pretty good. That is pretty darn good. So we will see what they're doing here. I do have the March of the Otherworldly Lights, though. So worst case, I will be using that. Okay. Interesting. Well, I won't be using that, you know. We're still taking a little damage here. The Kaito is amazing. Freaking amazing. Yeah. I'm doing this here. I will be taking a little damage, but then I will be playing the Meatwork Masker. Because they're kind of... Really, really fast out of cards, you know. Next turn, I will be blocking. And then I will be bringing down the Meadow Masker, you know. I also have the March of the Otherworldly Light, so that is also a thing. Alright. So, good, good, good. March of the Otherworldly Lights is very nice here. And, uh, yeah, as I said. I will be blocking next turn with the Strict Proctor here as well. But that is just crazy. They're just, like, token, like, treasure party going on, you know? That is just really, really good. Alright. So if they have a very expensive card, well, they will be going ham, you know? They will be going freaking ham. Okay. Are you going ham now? Like, is this, is this it? Am I, am I done? Am I, am I done, though? We will find out all together, won't we? Freaking won't we? The Vorpal Sword. What is going on, man? This is just madness. This is madness, I tell you. Freaking madness. Alright, they're equipping the Vorpal Sword here. That is still freaking madness, man. Alrighty. So I will be making the ninja here. This is what, a three cost? Yeah, it is a three cost. Alright. And, uh... Yeah. I'll just be freaking blocking and then wiping the board is what I do. Okay, I mean, this is just madness. I'm, I'm utterly impressed at what is going on here. I'm utterly freaking impressed. So we will see what they're doing here, though. They have two, four, six mana available. And one card left in hand. I do have the Meadog Masker, so hey, we'll see what's going on here. We will just have to see what is going on here. This is, uh... It's combat damage to a player. Pass to attacks.
Alrighty. How much does this cost? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let him do it. I'm blocking here like this. This is first strike. So we'll be doing it like this. They activate the Vorpal Sword here. They don't. They don't activate it. Alright, I was so certain they would activate it here. Oh, it's a tap treasure! I was afraid for nothing. I was just afraid for freaking nothing. So what's your last card, my friend? What is your darn last card, my friend? If you're just equipping this, that is fine. That is super fine by me. You do that. You freaking do that. Even using a treasure here. Even using a damn treasure here. Come on, equip it all. Man, I'm still like, you know, paying the dues of the last freaking game. That is still in my mind like nothing else. All right, we are attacking in here with a little ninja. Ninja go. And uh, now we're drawing. Good, it's a refined tower. That is more than okay. Now we're playing down as black source. So we can use the other ones as whatever we need them to. And now we just, you know, do this. Say hello to my little meat hook massacre. All righty. All freaking righty. And that is just... Hey, meat hook massacre, you know? Doing meat hook massacre things. It's just uh, ain't nothing but a heartbeat or whatever I always say. All right. I think I will be drawing here first. We do have enough land, so I'm not really worried, you know. The Wandering Empress. That is just amazing. I will be getting rid of uh, the Bright Climb Pathway. Play the Refined Tower here. And uh, then I will just freaking chill. I could play the Elspeth, but I honestly want to play the Elspeth as a Life Linker Enabler. So I will be doing that. And uh, keeping up the March of the Otherworldly Light is also very freaking nice. All right, okay, <laughs> do it, attack in my friend, token mania man, token freaking mania is what they call it, token freaking mania is what they call it, all right, have you seen how I professionally tipped like, like only slightly touched the border here, yeah, I did, I did see it, okay, so we, uh, we don't have a warrior token yet, but that is all right, I feel like we're just doing this now. Putting the 1-1 one counter on it. Waiting one little turn here. Bringing down a strict Procta. And now we still have like five mana left for stuff, you know? And that is just nice. That is just nice. If they have another gold span dragon, hey. Hey. Go ahead. Gold span freaking dragon me, my friend. Gold span dragon me. Alright, they do not. They do not do it. I will be going with the Elspeth here. And I uh, will be putting down a uh, lifelink counter on some of these. There you go. Lifelink. Freaking activated. And now, I mean, hey. Once more. Weird beatdown deck now. <laughs> okay. So, this is the weirdest freaking deck I have seen in a long freaking time. But I actually honestly freaking appreciate it, Zenyatta. You're like the Penyatta, but like Zini. I don't even know what the word Zini means. I heard it in my lifetime. I did. Hey, we might still be dying here, you know? Might still be freaking dying here. I just realized. If they have a freaking gold span dragon, we just freaking dead here. Because then they can equip the Warpled Sword. One, two, three, four, five. And then they have like two plus six. That makes eight. Plus two makes ten. They don't have it. Lucky freaking me. Lucky freaking me my friends okay we're putting a Be brave. a vigilance counter onto this gaining all the life we can get we'll just keep the march of the otherworldly lights up you know that is what we have to do here just in case just in freaking case and uh, hopefully we find another land I would not like to give up my Takenuma, but I will if I have to. So that I can make sure... Well, there you go. There you go. All right. 
So, and now we're chilling. Now we're chilling. See if they can do anything. They cannot. Hey. Oh. Four out of five, you know. Four and out of five. Top 400. Where we freaking belong. One of my favorite decks of all time. Get out of here, treasure. Get out of here. Game four was mm, terrible. I played myself like a freaking fiddle. I should have just farewelled. I didn't do it. Always said, like, be faster than the others. I was too slow. And hey, talking about too slow, this list is getting longer and freaking longer. This outro will always be at least as long as this list. But you know, with new people joining our ranks every day, I'm very freaking grateful. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you also very freaking much for supporting the channel. Going the extra mile, throwing cash in my pocket. I, on the other hand, will throw into charity. That is just amazing. And if you want to support the charity directly, if you think, hey, you know, two bucks, five bucks for a loan a month, that is all right. But fighting cancer, that is a cause worth throwing some more at it. And a lot of you already have, and I'm very insanely grateful for that. So if you want to do that, there's a link down below in the description. It is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just push a button down there and you will find the link. There's an explanation in German, but right below that there's also an explanation in English because never forget, I am German at heart. So yeah. And also Saturday and Sunday there will be the cup or a cup as they say in the north and um, you can like watch me live then on YouTube and on Twitch and we will be everywhere all around the world collecting money for the German Children's Cancer Foundation. I want to do something else, like there was like a pirate park for children, but due to corona and everything, it's just closed. That is super freaking sad. So, it was still Cancer Foundation, so I thought, hey, still go with the Cancer Foundation. If you have any questions, just shoot away, just ask them, and uh, I will be here delivering the answer as per usual. I hope you enjoyed today's deck. For me, it was amazing. I freaking love it. I was building this deck for a little bit longer and it was always like, ah, I don't know, man. We will see. We will see. Maybe this card, maybe that card. But then in the end, today, that was the version. The Strict Proctor was a late edition. Stuff like that. So, thank you also very freaking much. Make sure to subscribe if you have none so already. We're on our road to 12,500. I'm Max Malone and I will see you all tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.